Uh, welcome again, guys. And today we will now we will talk about the third part of the lecture, which is blood pressure. Of course, you know that we have uh, two uh, common like uh, uh, types of the pressure. We have systolic pressure, and we have diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure is just typically uh, uh, around one hundred twenty millimeter mercury, and the diastolic pressure is around eighty millimeter mercury. And this is the uh, Systolic and diastolic. We will not go deep for for both of them. We will go deep for the how can we measure them, and this is the important for us. The device using to measure them is named sigmometer, and this is the device uh, in front of you. It's contained about the rubber, which is go around the uh, hand, and we have uh, this pulp, which is make the squeeze to pushing the air on that tube till the rubber until the column of mercury here. You have the mercury here, and this is the column of mercury, okay? And this device is named sigmometer, okay? And this is this relies on the idea of a flow through an artery, which is, is being compressed. We will talk about how these things will be happen. First of all, you will put the rubber on the uh, hand, okay? And then put the cytoscope on the inside the rubber. Okay, then you will start to make the, to use the pulp to increase the height of mercury. Okay, so by squeezing the pulp, the person making the measurement will be apply pressure for the, for the what, for the main artery here inside the cuff, okay, or the rubber, and to the column of water in the manometer, or column of mercury, sorry, in the, in the, in the manometer. What will happen again? When the pressure applied from the cuff, this is the cuff. When the pressure applied more than 120 millimeter mercury, what will happen? The, 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 um, just like the artery will be cut off or the close. When the cuff is inflated so that it's a stop arterial blood flow. So when it just like the cuff will be more than 120 millimeter mercury, which is the highest pressure we have it here in the artery, the main artery, it will be close the, uh, the 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 artery, so the no sound can you hear through the cytoscope placed over the uh, the artery. Okay, uh, that will be cut off. So when you have the cytoscope here, you will not hear anything from it. Then after that, the blood pressure will be pulsate because of the pumping action of the heart. Then you will release you will release a little bit from the cuff and make the pressure between 80 and 120 millimeter mercury. So when, when the pressure between 80 and 120 millimeter mercury, which is the, your systolic and diastolic, I mean the pressure the pressure of the cuff, it will be between these two numbers. That means your artery will be open a little bit. See, it's open a little bit. And that means uh, uh, just like uh, uh, the, the small amount of space here, make the pressure pushing higher, so you will hearing the sound of the pulse. Okay, because the artery is being compressed. So when there is compression in the artery, you will hear the sound. After that, when the cut pressure here or the cuff pressure is released, it just like it's less than 80 millimeter mercury, then the blood flow is silent when the artery is no longer compressed. So it depends on the compressed of the uh, um, of what of the artery. If the artery is compressed, you will hear a sound because of the flow. And if the artery is not compressed, or totally closed, you will not hear the sound. And this is the case of less than 80 millimeter mercury. And this is the end of part three of the lecture. Thank you very much.